Welcome to Story Recap. This is John with you. In today's video, we will be going through the 2013 fantasy comedy film called Journey to the West Conquering the Demons. Let's get started. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos like these. A long time ago, in a Chinese fishing hamlet, a small girl is playing on the shores of a lake while her father prepares to begin the day's job. When he notices that the daughter is upset because her father is leaving again, he jumps into the water and starts playing around changing her tears back into smiles. Suddenly, the man begins convulsing chaotically inside the lake and is finally pulled about by something from underneath. The daughter continues to giggle, oblivious to the fact that her father is in danger until the guy vanishes, leaving just blood in the water. The villagers soon hire a demon hunter, who begins chanting and hurling explosives into the lake, resulting in a tremendous explosion inside the water as everyone watches in awe. They capture a massive stingray. And the hunter explains that it was possessed by a demon responsible for the death of the last guy. The people are overjoyed that the monster has been captured, but someone in the crowd informs them that the fish is not a demon, but rather an ordinary stingray. Tang, a demon hunter and monk's apprentice, when the other demon hunter hears this, he immediately accuses Tang of being a collaborator to the demon, prompting the villagers to beat the guy angrily, finally tying him up as punishment. Everyone starts diving into the water, certain that it is safe, while Tang looks about helplessly. Their celebration is cut short as a woman is devoured by a gigantic beast, leaving everyone stunned. The villagers race back to shore, assuming they are secure as long as they are not in the water, but they are swiftly proven mistaken when the monster captures them with its tongue. The previous little girl attempts to rush towards her mother, but the beast seizes the opportunity and snatches the kid, attempting to drag her into the sea. The villagers rush to save the little girl and cut off the monster's tongue while grabbing her on the brink of the bridge, but the monster leaps up and swallows the kid. Tang begins using his teeth to release himself from the ropes while the mother grows enraged and leaps into the water, desperately attempting to save her daughter. When she watches the gigantic creature emerge from the sea, shaking with rage as it stares at the lady, she is petrified with horror. She begs the demon to restore her kid, but the beast only answers by consuming her as well. The monster destroys the adjacent buildings, forcing everyone to lose their equilibrium, while a baby falls into the lake, away from his mother. Tang fortunately, is able to break free and leaps down near the platform, causing the infant to slip towards him instead. Tang manages to escape in time and locks the monster on the platform, utilizing the creature's weight to jump towards the people. Tang returns the child to his mother, but notices that the fake demon hunter is cowering like a coward, and gigantic female emerges from the masses, triggering tremors with each stride, and leaps down towards the monster. The enormous lady descends on the platform and launches the beast into the air, landing directly on top of the fake demon hunter before he can flee. Slowly, the beast begins to convert back into a young guy who looks to be harmless. The people see this and attempt to slay the demon, but Tang intervenes and suggests a new approach. The guy pulls out a slew of instruments and a book titled 300 Nursery Rhymes, ready to unleash his musical abilities in order to turn the monster from evil to good. Tang starts singing horrifyingly, which confuses both the demon and the crowd. The guy's words and performance drove the beast insane and the demon began pounding on the man ferociously and breaking everything around him. Before Tang is slain, a lady seizes the demon and begins beating it, finally wrapping it in a magical fabric and converting it into a doll. The lady's name is Duin, and she is also a demon hunter, but when Tang shows her the equipment he uses to defeat the demons, the woman laughs uncontrollably, and all the villagers congratulate her for being their genuine hero. Tang is disappointed by the failure, but his teacher assures him that changing evil into kindness is never simple. He informs the monk that there is a second demon he must defeat, who lives in a neighboring restaurant and cooks with human flesh. Tang gets at the demon's restaurant late at night and enters the premises, only to find it packed with people eating. Tang is met by a woman who proceeds to tour him around, but Tang sees right through the illusions and tells her to reveal her actual nature. The monster lunges towards Tang as he flees in terror, but he is spared when Duan appears and violently beats the lady. Gradually reducing her to dust she starts assaulting everyone in the restaurant, severing the devils one by one with her rings. As a young guy slips behind her, the lady yells for the boss to come out, but Duan swiftly responds and begins battling the demon as they exchange intense strikes. The lady has the upper hand and punches the man across the room. She then conjures many rings and begins firing them at the demon, focusing specifically at the man's face, finally ripping his skin and revealing a pig's snout. The demon begins to close the space between herself and the lady by intercepting all of her assaults with the rake. He swings aggressively at Duan, causing her to defend herself, but is able to strike into her flesh as she flees just before impact. Duan leaps behind the thing and begins kicking him, causing it to reveal its full form, which is shown to be a demon pig. She binds the creature's arms and keeps him from moving, while calling for Tang to assist. 
Duan has trapped the demon's essence inside his throat, and Tang must suck it out of the pig. The man attempts to get the confidence to perform the duty, but finds it exceedingly difficult after seeing the monster's ugly visage. Fortunately, Tang slips into this craziness by mistake and kisses the pig, sucking the devil into his mouth. Duan swiftly extracts the essence off the man and places it in her ceiling bag. The demon, however, is too powerful to be contained and continues to grow larger, finally bursting free and revealing its terrible form. As the structure collapses around them, the two flee. As they come alongside a lake, they are able to flee the monster. Duan collapses from the anguish of her injuries and continues to flaunt her feminine assets in front of the main character. When she orders him to apply pressure to her wounds and halt the bleeding, the lucky man becomes more luckier. Tang was able to accomplish this at the expense of bleeding himself, but he doesn't appear to mind. When Duan shuts her eyes and goes in for a kiss, the guy realizes he's a monk and flees the lady, most likely because he doesn't want to pay child support in the future. Tang returns to his master the next day, telling him that he has failed again. The master tells the young man that in order to conquer the pig monster, he must seek assistance from the ruler of all demons. This formidable demon appears to be known as Wukong who was imprisoned by the gods 500 years ago under a massive mountain for wreaking devastation in the sky. Tang walks into a trap set by a group of individuals who look to be exceedingly violent at night when trekking into the forest. But it turns out that they all work for Duan, and she aims to compel the monk to marry her no matter what. Tang, on the other hand, rejects, arguing that he can't love her since the monk's rule requires him to love everyone in this world equally. In a fit of wrath, Duan locks the man inside and mulls over what to do with him next. Her sister attempts to persuade her to be more feminine and utilize her dancing to entice the man. But after witnessing her dreadful motions, the lady places a talisman on Duan and plots to control her movements while wooing the monk. Duan visits her crush, but things rapidly go awry as the charm begins to fail, forcing the lady to continuously beat the main character until the charm flies onto the guy. Duan rushes out of the room, but the sister continues dancing, leading Tang to shake his body precisely like her in front of the guards who rush in. When the guys notice the monk's foolish movements, they continue to beat him up again, only stopping when the sister realizes something is wrong and hurries inside. When they notice that the pig demon has come, the party jumps into their car and attempts desperately to flee for their life. The pig, on the other hand, is able to catch up and rush right at the group. Duan notices this and pulls the monk out of the car before the monster smashes into the group, shattering everything. Fortunately, no one was injured in the collision, but they are swiftly encircled by the demon, who intends to get revenge on their guild leader for their earlier encounter. Suddenly, a guy with the aura of a tiger dashes at the monster and begins to overwhelm it, throwing the demon into the air and landing a powerful kick, forcing the monster to flee. The man turns out to be a demon hunter, and he's followed by the huge foot, as well as Prince Important and his four gorgeous nanas, whom he orders to toss flower petals at all times. His servant, on the other hand, appears to be horrible at following commands and often embarrasses him by calling him Prince Important. Tang is enraged when the three begin squabbling over who gets to kill the pig demon, declaring that they are simply doing it for money and vanity and are not worthy of being actual demon hunters. Tang requests that Duan return the nursery rhymes she stole and yells at her for wasting his time. The lady becomes enraged and tears the book into bits before flinging it in the air. She lashes out at Tang, telling him that he is nothing without her and would have perished a long time ago. Tang stands up quietly and notices Duan flirting with the prince in order to make him jealous, but begins walking away as the girl stares at him with despair. Tang comes on a mountain covered in lily pads despite the lack of water after journeying for a long time across the region. He finds a giant lily flower growing through what looks to be a hole inside and jumps in only to be greeted by a strange man who hugs and loves him repeatedly. Tang understands that this must be Wukong and attempts to enlist his assistance in killing the pig demon. But the guy is just interested in leaving and tries furiously to mislead the monk into removing the seal, stating that it is capable of catching the monster. Tang, on the other hand, does not fall for the petty tactics, prompting Wukong to go in despair, but the roots in the cave cage the demon within and begin wiping him for disobedience. Tang feels sorry for the guy and offers him a banana, softening the demon's temperament as he begins explaining the monk how to kill the pig monster. Because the demon used to adore his wife, they must find a beautiful woman to dance beneath the moonlight, attracting the monster to the cave and allowing Wukong to confine it within. After hearing about their plot, Duan rushes into the cave and offers to be the pig demon's bait. Tang notices the lady and wants her to go, but Wukong starts flirting with her while teaching her to dance. The monk clearly adores the woman, as seen by his actions, since he is really uncomfortable at the sight of the amorous show. Duan begins dancing beneath the moonlight at night as the monk plays music for her. The male watches the woman, falling more in love with each motion she makes. They soon hear a terrible roar and realize that the pig demon has come. 
Wukong begins conversing with the creature from within the cave, forcing the monster to peer behind the lilies only to be drawn in fully by the god's ceiling. Duan transforms the pig demon into a doll and presents both monsters to Tang, allowing him to convert the wicked creatures using nursery rhymes. She gives the monk a ring and wishes to marry him, but Tang becomes enraged and would sooner chop off his own finger than be in a relationship with her. Duan notices this and removes the ring herself, attempting to return the nursery rhyme that she glued back together, but the monk refuses the book angrily. When she witnesses the man's conviction, she breaks down and promises not to follow him again in the future. Tang comes out of the cave, saddened by the anguish of his actual sentiments, and stares towards the moon. He hears Wukong request a favor to remove the lily blossom that is blocking the entryway. Because he too wants to enjoy the moonlight the monk cuts the bloom, but discovers something is awry when all the lilies are burned in flames. Inside the cave, Wukong laughs maniacally before breaking loose in a ball of fire that lands exactly in front of the monk. He takes the man and throws him aside like a ragdoll before catching him again beneath the mountain, taunting the victim for being so easily duped into releasing the demon king. Tang informs the monkey demon that he has not escaped since the Buddha is still observing everything. Wukong, enraged, begins forcefully yanking off the monk's hair. Eventually, there is nothing left, but he is enraged that the man's will is still intact. The demon becomes aware of a presence behind him and notices that the three demon hunters have arrived. The North Star's fist prepares to assault the demon king, but Wukong charges forward and immediately kills the guy by biting down on the hunter's throat. When Mighty Foot notices this, he transforms into a big leg the size of a school bus and kicks the monkey demon with incredible force, knocking him backwards. The old man leaps into the air and stomps on Wukong. But the monkey king pierces the old man's feet and kicks him into the air, landing on top of the prince. He orders the nanas to dispose of the elderly man and begins hurling swords at the demon forcing Wukong to flee into the air as the weapons pursue and strike him everywhere he goes. The devil also pulls out his weapon and begins pushing the swords away, but the prince combines all of the weapons into one and sends it flying towards the monkey. The strike was so powerful that it started splitting away the demon's staff, but it ultimately met a wall when it came into touch with the monkey and broke into pieces. Wukong roars angrily at the invaders, unleashing a shockwave that transforms the demon hunters to dust. He turns his focus to the monk, but Duan appears and begins defending the man, Despite what he said to her, the lady attacks Wukong with her rings, but the weapons all break as they strike the demon king. She lunges at the monkey, but Wukong effortlessly deflects her attack by smacking her in the head and sending her flying backwards. Tang creeps near the woman, and Duan asks him whether he has ever loved her. The monk sobs hopelessly and tells Duan that he has always loved her from the first moment they met. Duan dies with tears in her eyes after hearing the man's confession, while Tang holds her and kisses her, taking her ring and placing it on his finger. Wukong snatches the girl's body and throws it in the air, smashing it into a million pieces before the guy can finish mourning. Suddenly, the demon senses something is awry and flees, only to discover that Tang has finally let go of all mortal relationships. The monk begins reading Duan's book and chanting to the words within, forming a huge Buddha that towers over the entire earth. The gigantic statue proceeds to shove its palm towards the earth, causing a powerful shockwave when it penetrates the atmosphere and setting fire to its hand. Wukong notices this and refuses to give up, concentrating all of his energy on his body and swiftly morphing into King Kong, towering over everyone and roaring violently. The gigantic palm approaches the demon, and Wukong tries to lift the Buddha at the last time, stopping the attack as he strains under the great weight. The demon, however, is no match for the god's might and is crushed beneath the gigantic hand. Wukong is sent to another dimension, where Tang has finally defeated the monster. He then removes Duan's ring and attaches it to the monkey's head, making the demon his new student. The monk's master informs the guy that he is now prepared to travel to the west. He'll travel to India to retrieve the sacred writings, escorted by the demons who are now his disciples, in order to alleviate humanity's suffering. So, what are your thoughts on this film? Please let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy. Hit the like button. And if you disliked it hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. You should watch the full movie, thank you very much for watching.